The 185 ACDC has been a machine that's been one of the top ACDC TIG machines in the market for years. And I've shown this one to customers and they like this just as much as they did the 185 or better. Um, but of course the price is a little bit lower than the competition with all the extra features. So it's going to be a top seller. So the setup on the 186 ACDC is very simple. Over here you choose your process, stick, lift TIG or high frequency TIG. Next you choose AC or DC. In DC, we'll start at the beginning of the settings. You have a pre-flow of gas, a hot start, your peak amperage, which you can set wherever you want because we're running through a foot pedal. Then the last thing is a down slope and post flow. Those are all the settings for DC, very easy. Now switching over to AC, we'll have the same settings. Pre-flow, hot start, peak amperage, down slope, post flow. Next we have a, a wave balance control on your AC side, which is your percent cleaning to penetration. And you can set that anywhere you want. Uh, normally we'll set around 30% cleaning. Next thing you have is your frequency control. So you can take this, that'll take your arc and take it out from a bell shape or suck it in for a tighter bead. Gives you more control. Something the competitors don't offer on their machines. Um, also we have pulse built into this. So if you're welding out of position, you're welding thin plate, you want to take some heat out of the weld, you can set a pulse parameter. So we'll start at the beginning again. You have a pre-flow, hot start, uh, your high current or your peak, we'll set that in this example at around 200. Um, percent of time at peak, so we'll be at 50% of the time at 200 amps. Uh, the frequency or hertz as it shows on the panel here, that's how many times per second it switches between the two. And then the last, the low current is 100 amps. All right, so we'll switch between 200 amps and 100 amps. 6.9 times per second and 50% of the time we're going to be at 200 amps. So that's all the settings on the machine, very easy to set. We also have a 2T, 4T trigger latch if you're using some of the fingertip remotes. You can use that to start an arc, let go of the trigger and then use your roller to control your amperage. So the machine has everything, everything you need built in. Competitors do not. And I've shown this one to customers and they like this just as much as they did the 185 or better. Um, but of course the price is a little bit lower than the competition with all the extra features. So it's going to be a top seller.